All right, what's up friends? Today we are back in my favorite city, Fort Worth. We're a little bit outside of downtown today on a street called Magnolia. There's a lot of really cool local shops, businesses, breweries, bakeries, coffee shops, a glass blowing shop. We're gonna walk around. I've got my Sony 28 millimeter lens with me today. We're gonna stick with that. We're gonna see what photos we can get with just that one lens. Let's go. All right, so the first place that I head to is the Seneca School of Glass and Gallery. Every time that I am down here, I always think that what they've got going on is some of the coolest stuff in Fort Worth. They do glass blowing classes. And I noticed that since the bay doors were open that they were having a class inside. Anytime that I'm at a business and I wanna shoot, I always make sure to ask someone if it's okay. So I walked up and asked this guy right here and he said that it was totally chill. So I went ahead and got my camera all set and ready to shoot. Uh, but before I show you any of the photos, I got to shoot a little video segment with one of the instructors and here it is right here. Glass rolling is definitely one of the most beautiful and unique art forms that I've ever seen happen in person. I love the couple of minutes that I got to hang out with that class and instructors. And here are my three favorite photos from my time with them. The goal for me in these is to make it feel like you are actually there. So the composition on the far left, I think does that really well. It brings you right up next to some of the equipment and it shows the instructor and the student working on the piece of art at the same time. That is definitely my favorite photo of the set of these three. And yeah, I had an absolute blast hanging out with them. It was a whole lot of fun. So I continued making my way down the street and I had absolutely zero intention of shooting this restaurant right here, but I noticed that this lady on the left in the window is in the same yellow that the sign is done in. So I thought that might make a really cool photo, two points of interest of the same color that are in completely opposite spaces in the photo composition. I used the crop option on the A7 III with the 28 millimeter and came out with this photo here on the right. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. If her shirt was any other color, the photo would absolutely not have the same vibe but because they are the same color, it just pulls it in all together really well. You have two different points of interest to look at that draw your attention uniquely and individually, and then also at the same time, just compose the whole photo together. This right here is Heim Barbecue. It is hands down, no question, the best barbecue in all of Dallas and Fort Worth. They are always packed out, but I got lucky because I was here during a kind of odd hour in the early afternoon. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get to take any photos, but I noticed that this bartender here was in the indoor outdoor bar area and was making a couple of drinks. I walked up and asked him if he cared if I took some photos, he said no. So I took a couple and this one right here is my favorite of the ones that I took of him. I love the way that it conveys the indoor outdoor nature of the space. I love these barbecue bottles in the bottom right hand corner that kind of fill out the frame and are opposite in the composition to that big fan in the top left while still highlighting him as the subject. I loved this photo, the guy was really cool. I was happy that I got the chance to take this photo of him. All right, so I'm a little ways down from Heim Barbecue right now. Behind me is Craftwork Coffee, and I will definitely go back and shoot some photos there. I wanted to go to places I don't frequently visit, so I skipped that for this video, but I will return in a future one. I noticed these two girls right here with this dog and asked if they cared if I took a photo. Found out that this is actually Sir Archie Waffles. He is an Instagram dog here in Fort Worth, and he was an absolute joy to take photos of. He looked this happy the entire time. This street is seriously just one fire spot after the other. Magnolia in Fort Worth, if you are visiting the city, definitely head just straight here and hang out here for the whole day. It's, it's awesome. Got kind of hungry at this point. I've been walking around for a little bit, so I head in and grab a piece of quiche, and while I'm in here, I take a couple of photos of the girls working and this is how they turn out right here. Of the two, 
my preferred photo is the one on the left. I feel like it has a better overall composition, isolating the subject there in the door frame. But there's something about this photo on the right that just really feels reminiscent of like an old movie. There's something about it, this diner type feel. I love the emotion that it evokes. All right, so I'm back at that building where we started the video off, and this is later in the day, and neither of these businesses have opened up still. And I take a walk around this building. I noticed these spray-painted sayings earlier when I was here, but I didn't like the way that the lighting was hitting it during that time. And now there's this really cool juxtaposition from the sun hitting this shade that's right above the door here. So I'll go ahead and take this photo right here. What I like the most about this photo is that the saying don't sleep is right above two empty chairs. Right across the street from there is Avoca Coffee. They're one of the largest coffee roasters in all of Fort Worth. I noticed this guy that was sitting out here reading his book and drinking a beer or a nitro cold brew. I asked him if he mind if I took a photo and he said that he didn't. This is one of the biggest things that I do to push myself out of my comfort zone is asking people if I can take their photo. It forces me to not only develop my craft in a different way, but it pushes me to build relationships with these people at the same time. I took a couple of different shots here, but this is the one that I like the most. My favorite thing about this photo is the strip of red here on the left from the building, and then just the overall contemplative nature of the photo. I feel like that comes naturally when you shoot someone that's reading a book. I really appreciate that I got to take this photo, and the guy was super cool about it which was just awesome. All right, and again, I make my way back across the street and I'm heading to my car. And I noticed this composition that I totally missed earlier of this building here in the back. And so I frame up, I'm thinking about shooting this right here, but I wanna get something a little bit in the foreground. So I noticed this white pole, which is perfect for what I was trying to do. I take this photo right here. And this has this very like, Italian cafe vibe. I think the only thing that could have made this photo any better for me would be if someone was sitting outside in one of these chairs by themselves, sipping on a coffee or reading a newspaper. If I ever get the chance to make that photo, I think that would be absolutely incredible. All right, hope you enjoyed walking around with me on Magnolia Street in downtown Fort Worth. These are my two favorite photos from the day and I will see you all next time.